Hello and welcome back to Chase the Ace. Now, I've got a feeling that this will be the series finale. You'll probably know from the title if I've chucked it in there. We are two points ahead of Manchester United. One game remaining, we're playing Juventus. Uh, if we get a draw, and oh, it could come down to the goal difference, but a win will guarantee us to win at the Premier League and complete this challenge. Wexford Youths have had a really poor second half of the season. They were dominating. Uh, we ran them down, and they've just had a form slump. I don't know. I mean, they're still up and about with 64 points. They're only four points behind us, but with one game remaining, they cannot beat us. The only team that can beat us right now is Manchester United. So we'll get into this game against Juventus. Hopefully we can win that and clinch the title. Then we'll have the FA Cup final. So a chance to do the treble here in the Premier League with FC Basel. And uh, we'll do a full wrap up and, and check out the league and all that. I think even if we lose, we'll just call it here. Um, but you know, cross your fingers. I think we can get the job done. The real story will be, can Engstrom get something going here in the, in this game here against Manchester, uh, against Juventus, should I say. Because uh, we've lost Lamas, we've lost Cox, and we've lost Demota Pinto in the last couple of games. So the squad's looking a bit thin. <sighs> can we do the job? Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It is the final game of the Premier League season. FC Basel at home hosting Juventus. And uh, this game only comes probably three or four days after the last one. We haven't got those squad rotations available. We've got four big key injuries. Lamas, Cox, uh, Demota Pinto's gone down now, and also De Groot, who has been out for some time as well. So uh, the squad depth there is actually quite thin because a lot of this squad is out on loan. Engstrom will start up front today, but only at about 70% stamina. And the only real option we have to bring on is Seamus Murphy. So, um, oh, Sokolik, who could forget him? And he is playing for Juventus. Will he stand in the way of us taking Premier League glory? Oh, this just stepped up a lot, didn't it? Oh, Sokolik, the helmet man himself, the Petr Cech regen. Sold off to Juventus. Well, here's our starting lineup. I've had to make a few changes. Kaufman comes in. Corrado Santoso has the captain's armband at the moment. Uh, I've put Madrazo on the bench because he only had about 60% stamina. There's no way he's running out of game. So we'll try and bring him on later, see if we can switch him into the captaincy. And if we take out the Premier League, he can lift his second trophy for the season. But we still have 90 minutes to play here against Juventus. A draw could possibly do it, depending on the goals and goal difference, but a win will secure us the Premier League title. So Sokolik is between the sticks. They've got a decent defending line up there. Um, okay. Okay. Well, Juventus and FC Basel. So you can see there the table. There's a two-goal difference between us and Manchester United. So we'll have to keep an eye on what's happening in their encounter. And uh, we just need to get the job done. We need to find an early goal. Hopefully Engstrom can be the hero. And, well, it's all come down to this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. But Well, Juventus have the lead after one, five minutes. It's a late cross. Was it? I'm not sure, but Corrado Santoso has just let him take a clean strike at it. Oh, Sabelli got a hand to it, but it's gone in the back of the net, and Juventus take the lead. 1 0. And all the work to do now for FC Basel if we want to take out this Premier League title. Slips it out wide for Azevedo. Cuts back Azevedo. Here comes the cross in. Oh, Dahan tried something. Loffler loves a banger, slips this one off. Noble Lazarus finds Loffler again. He works his way into the space. It's Engstrom. Engstrom! Oh, pull the trigger, son! Well Kaufman. Can get this cross in? He can. Oh, Sabale! There you go, Sokolik. Suck on that one. What a ball inside from Kaufman. And find Sabale in the box. He didn't even look. And a lovely finish from Sabale. It's 1-1. Back on level peggings. A brilliant finish from Sabale. Only his third goal of the season. But a lovely finish. And it is 1-1 on the day. 17 minutes gone. Oh, Sabale, brilliant. That's what we need, mate. Keep us in this game. 
If we want a Premier League title, we're going to have to do the job. Loeffler again doing well and finds Kaufman. And Kaufman is electrifying with pace. Cuts back through the middle nicely. Gets this ball off to Sabale and he gets picked off. Sabale plays through. Engstrom pushing in on goal. Can he finish this one? Yes, he can! Get in, son! 2-1 FC Basel. And it's Engstrom. No one else left on the list. We've had to put the faith in. And well, Sokolik got the touch, but Engstrom scores. And it's 2-1 FC Basel. We've woken up here. They know what's on the line. And Engstrom gets the goal. And it's 2-1 FC Basel gets inside. Azevedo slips forward. Engstrom again getting involved. Oh, drop down. Sabale. Azevedo! Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Unlucky. Noble Lazarus to Sabale. Lucas Dehan tries to turn his man. He's into the box. Cuts back. Feeds it inside. Loeffler. Oh! Oh, that was a bee's dick away from scoring. Loffler just held it up, took the shot just wide. Sokolik wouldn't have got there. Flips this one out wide. Here is Dehart. Here comes the cross. Azevedo! Oh, Sokolik with the save. And it is a corner now for FC Basel. Fuck, we've stepped up a notch here. Engstrom got up. Comes back out to Dehart. Noble Lazarus. Rossi picked off. Oh, Loffler. Oh, Loeffler again. Loeffler again. Oh, and we'll get another corner. And a corner given by the referee. DeHaan whips it in. Corrado Santoso works Sokolik. Oh, and he's down. He's fucking down. What's with the injuries? Well, there's half time at 2 1 in favour of FC Basel. Well, the halftime story is that Arsenal are drawing with Manchester United at the moment. So we are in the box seat for Premier League glory. Let's go. Brings it inside. Engstrom. Engstrom! Oh, what a save, Sokolik! Well, we've got the corner and Seamus Murphy has come into the game. For Engstrom. And here is Dehaan. Here is the cross back post. Sabale again! Oh, he's got to! Brilliant finish! Mate! He likes to fucking get up. And it is 3 1 FC Basel. Brilliant finish. Hugo Madrazo's also come onto the pitch. And it's 3 1 FC Basel. Get in! Oh, hello Juventus. Hello Juventus. 3-2. Game on. Game fucking on. How small is this little bloke? Well, that was an absolute cracking goal there from Juventus. Just could not get the ball off them. Martin trying to hold him. He's got around Corrado Santos, so he's having a bit of a rough day at the office. And it's 3-2. Noble Lazarus. Lines up. Oh, good save from Sokolik. There's a bolt down the line. Savale. Keeps going here, Savale. Off to Azevedo. Back to Savale. Savale! Oh, Sokolik. Savale is having an absolute game. And Sokolik with the save. And it is yet another corner here. Dehan to deliver. Whips it up. Whips it high. Oh, Rossi got in there. Cleared away. Kaufman misses out. Here's the shot over the top. Oh, DeHaan. Murphy. Oh, cleared away. Well, there's the whistle. Victory for FC Basel. We take the Premier League title. Champions. We've got the English Cup. We've got the Premier League. All that's left is the FA Cup. So, Bale, what a game he did have. Engstrom chipping in with a goal. And we are the Premier League champions. It's been a long, hard road to get here. We thought Wexford had us done and dusted only a, probably 12 weeks ago, but they faltered at the line. We skipped past them and uh, we've held true. And now we take the Premier League title. So two for two so far this season. 
Hugo Madrazo, well, he was injured for, what, seven months, and he's got to lift two trophies in three or four weeks. And the possibility of lifting one more, which will be the FA Cup final, with the Premier League champions, RFC Basel. These boys have played for this club. And Hugo Madrazo, well, from shrimp to star. FC Basel gets in. What a brilliant career mode. What a brilliant fucking story. An unlikely hero is doing the job here. Sabale and Emstrom. Sokolik was with us for such a long time. Went to Juventus and unfortunately he's on the losing side today. And sees us lift the championship trophy. Well... That is the Premier League done and dusted. So that means there's one game remaining. It's the FA Cup final. And a chance for us to do a treble. All right, let's go. Can't celebrate all day. We've got another game to worry about. 20 fucking shots. 20 shots. That is a demolition. And uh, only the nine tackles. It was quite fluent here today. Lucas Dehan gets a 9.5 man of the match, even though Sabali scored two. Uh, was it assists? No, he only got the one assist. Just had a fucking really good game by the looks of things. Engstrom even got an 8.3. Not bad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back at Wembley once again. It's Bayern Munich and FC Basel in the FA Cup final. This will be the final game of this career mode. And uh, what a big one this is. A chance to do the treble here. Everything on the line. Now, the good news is Oscar Cox... He's back from injury. He has a band-aid. It was only the day before this game that it, it was said that he could, you know, maybe get up and play a game. So I'm starting him on the bench. He may come on and be the hero in the late stages of this one if we need him. Engstrom will start up front. Sabale in the cam roll. Hugo Madrazo is in centre midfield. Mastretta back into the side in place of Corrado Santoso. Stojanovic is at right back, of course. And... Uh, well, can we get the job done here? Can we win the treble? It would just be a great way to finish this one off. The FA Cup final here at Wembley. Well, they've got Porath between the six again instead of Neuer. I've got no idea why. Lewandowski on the bench as well with Thiago and Son. We've got Muller up front. Okay, that's fair enough. Hummels, Pogba, Coman. Okay, so they've got some talent floating around, but you'd assume that they'd put their number one keeper in. I mean, who is this Porath kid? Oh well, we beat them not long ago, 1-0. But this is an FA Cup final. You know they're going to come swinging for the fences. But uh, after that display there, we put on against Juventus. Hopefully we can do the same again today. Abdulhak Toure has managed this team to absolute perfection. Putting it home when we needed to. And let's hope we can do it again today here against Bayern Munich. A big game. The FA Cup, probably the most prestigious trophy in the world now, with all the big teams being put into the English league system. Bayern Munich didn't have the best of seasons. I think they were sniffing around the relegation zone, but they are here in an FA Cup final. This will be one hell of a match. Come on, FC Basel. We want this treble. Can we get the job done today? Well, it's an early free kick here. and uh, We're just going to try and whip this one into the box. No, it's going to come back out. Noble Lazarus slips it inside, finds little Martin. And he does well, Martin. Takes the strike. It took a deflection, and I think we'll get an early corner. And Savale. Looks forward. Engstrom! Oh, good save, Porath. He was offside. It didn't matter, but some good build-up play there from FC Basel. Showing some intent. Oh, Pogba. Stripped. Engstrom. Oh, Engstrom! Oh, poor Raff! Well, maybe he is as good as Manuel Neuer. And Savale. Does well. Slips this one forward. Lucas Dehaan. Lucas Dehaan! Oh, poor Raff again! Absolutely on point, the young goalkeeper. Oh, great work, Rossi. Savale. Slips forward. Engstrom making the push. Here's Engstrom. Cuts through nicely. And oh, tripped up by his own fucking player! Oh, Noble Lazarus does well. Slips this one forward for Sabale. Can you get the run on here, Sabale? Does very well. Slips it down the line. A great run from Azevedo. Azevedo slips on through. Takes the strike. It's over the top. 
Well, there's the whistle. Half time. It is nil all in a tough, tough FA Cup final. Here comes Bayern Munich. Oh, Sabelli. Brilliant save. Oh, Bayern Munich have flown out of the blocks here in the second half. They had 60% possession. We had four or five shots. I think they had three. Here they come again. Caught out at the back. Oh, Stojanovic, brilliant challenge. Dehan, Hugo Madrazo down the line. Wants the run here from Sabale. Sabale now works his way forward. Gets the pass on. Engstrom. Oh, poor Rath. All right, time to make some substitutions. Sabale's been all right, but uh, he needs to go off. Engstrom, Azevedo and Sabale check out. And here he is, Oscar Cox. Not 100% fit, but uh, we need a spark. We need something here. Oh, Big Coxie will start getting there up front. Offler comes on as well, as does Felix Winter. Let's go. Slips it forward. Dehan. Oh, no. Poor pass. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Cox. Come on, Cox. Slips it forward. Dehan gets the ball out wide. It's Winter! Oh, Felix! Winter! Yes, lad! Get in, son! Oh, someone said in the comments when we signed him in that he would be the hero of this career mode. And fuck me, FA Cup final comes in off the bench and bam, inside fucking corner pocket. Felix Winter. Stand up and take a bow, son. Brilliant finish. 1-0 FC Basel here in the FA Cup final. There it is. A treble for FC Basel. What a way to wrap up this career mode. And Felix Winter's done it. He gets us a goal in the 87th minute. And FC Basel takes three trophies in the first season of the Premier League. Brilliant fucking stuff here. Oh, I think we deserved that one. We played through our skin and, well, the injuries started taking their toll. We persisted. And we get through and take three trophies. And Hugo Madrasa will get to lift his third trophy now. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Loving it. Coxie's out there as well. Ah, oh, yes. Victory, FC Basel are the winners in the Chase the Ace competition in the Premier League, in the EFL Cup, and now the FA Cup. Ah, oh, Wexford, I thought you would have been too strong, but fuck no, says Hugo. And we are now the FA Cup. Oh, we just hold everything. We just hold everything. Well done, boys. I don't need to watch all the bloody celebrations. We know we are legends. All right, let's get on with this one. Let's wrap things up. Go and look at some statistics. Do the final squad report and wrap things up here in this Chase the A series. Jeez, the trophy's nearly bigger than Hugo. Right, eight shots to three. They definitely had the possession. 18 tackles. That's how defensive we played. Lucas DeHaan gets the 8.2 man of the match performance. But uh, just an all-round effort there from the lads. All right, let's take a look at some statistics for the season. Now, Dybala for Manchester United finishes with 17 goals and takes out the golden boot. Neymar there in a second. Um, all right, where are our players? Where are our players? Thomas Lamas had 11 in the Premier League, but then obviously injured. Simeone for the Wexford Youths had 10. Um, anyone else? No, okay. Assist-wise, let's have a look here. Wexford, Fakir with six. Oniakuru with six. Dahan was six, Azevedo was six, Sabale was six. Um, okay, so that uh, Wexford Malcolm with five. Okay, good. Clean sheet. Sabelli takes the golden glove. He's probably the man that got us there. Um, and well, Wexford with Groon. Well, I thought they would have played Dedillion over Groon, but uh, he got eight and Dedillion got five. Um, we, well, Zorna even got three. Okay. Yellow cards. Meh. Don't care about that. Red cards, whatever. All right, let's do the final squad report for this career mode. Sabelli ends up as a 92. He went up two. Uh, Jerkstra is an 80, went up three. Zorna a 78, went up five. 
Uh, Alexander Broa as a 74 went up four. At right back, Stoyanovic, well, he still won't sign a contract, so he would have been leaving at the end of this season at 83, and Kaufman is an 82, went up three. Center backs, we've got Mastretta, 86, gone up six. Rossi's an 85, went up two. Santoso, an 83, went up two. Lucas Moser, a 69, went up six. Charlie Harris, 81, went up two. Uh, Leonardo Castro is a 73, went up four, out on loan. Ostergaard, a 71, it went up four, out on loan. At left back, we've got Frank Martin, 84, went up three. And Carilli is a 71, it went up four. Center defensive midfield position is Noble Lazarus, 84, went up two. Um, he was the only man, really, and he just did the job. Lucas Dehard, 87, went up three. Probably one of my favorite players of this career mode. Just, just absolutely special out on that right-hand side and some good overall abilities. Uh, Okoto is an 81, went up one. Uh, Pavola, 73, went up five. Tezaza, 72, went up four. Shigari, 79, went up two. Uh, Madrazo, an 88, went up two. Uh, Ten goals, five assists. He got five in the bloody... Uh, cup challenge at the start of the season on simulation. They got absolutely injured. But um, 98 finishing from little Hugo. Not bad. Not very strong, though. Loffler, 81, went up three. He was a real... Uh, yeah, something special. I didn't really think much of him when he first came in, but uh, really showed his own this season. Alexander de Groot, 81, went up two. Uh, Severdra, 73, went up three. Duarte, 72, went up three. Hamadi, 71, went up six. Sabale, 83, went up one. Fuck me, didn't he have a season as well? Um, 28 appearances, five goals, nine assists. Lucas White, 84, went up two. Uh, Rusha, 69, went up three. Rodney Decker, 77, went up two. Michael Lund is 76, went up two. Kasuna, 77, went up three. Uh, Morales, 74, went up three. Seamus, Seamus Murphy, sorry, 75, went up five. Uh, Johan Stockley, 73, went up five. Hofstetter's a 70, went up four. Martin Bader, 73, went up five. Engstrom's an 88, went up two. I mean, look at those statistics. He should have been a lot better, but really, at the end of the day, it's all just pace. Uh, he didn't have the finishing ability of a Lummis, who only ended up being an 86, gone up one. 14 goals for the season, had the same pace, but was just a way better player on the ball. Oscar Cox, 87, went up five. And he is a beast. He is a beast. Give him another season or two, and he definitely hit 90 plus. Azevedo, 88, went up two. Uh, Demota Pinto, an 88, went up three. Fuck me. Not bad for a regen day. Uh, Felix Winter, 79, gone up four. And just an absolute star now after scoring the winning goal in the FA Cup final. And that is our full squad here at the end of this Chase the A series. Done. All right, I haven't scouted these lads, but let's have a look at how Wexford are doing. Um, DR66, Barella up to an 86, so he's played out his career there at Wexford. Harrison Brown, we're not too sure on. Uh, Borman is up to a 77. Keller Valera, 83, so he played out his career. Lee Chin, well, <laughs> still there. Uh, Correa, 80, okay. Joel Cook's a 74. Andreas Kubis, uh, he got bought by Wexford, so he's an 83. Dedillion's an 83. Fakir, 86, they picked him up. Uh, Foundry, 68. So Groon, they were playing as a 79 over Dedillion, who is an 83. I don't get this game sometimes. Hernandez, up to an 85. Though. Decent. Uh, Hurtado, 73. Huma, 82, he stayed there with Wexford. Johnson's an 80. Cater, an 84. Uh, Madison, 71. Liam Kelly is an 82. Malcolm 82, Martinez an 88, uh, Onyakuru 87, McNamee 78, Orion 79, Orsic is a 79, I don't think we bought him, Pedersen 86, Whew. would have been a decent pickup, um, what else have we got, Sar stayed there for an 85, Simeone 85, uh, Tabernau 83, Minjay Sook got to a 72, Ewan Thomas 81, Jordan Turner's an 80, uh, Villaba 83, uh, Lars Dahan, a 74. Okay, so, I mean, they sold off quite a few players, but uh, kept quite a few around as well. And they obviously did pretty well in their first season as well in the Premier League. Were sitting top for the first, you know, half of the season and sort of fell away there, unfortunately. Right, so that's where we finish up this career mode. Hopefully you've enjoyed this Chase of the Ace series. 
Uh, we'll have to wait and see if it's back for FIFA 18. Just, we'll see how we go. But uh, finishing top of the league, 71 points. So two points clear of Manchester United. Wexford eventually must have uh, just lost the last couple of games and ended up finishing fifth after sitting top of the table for such a long time. Uh, Juventus, Manchester City and Arsenal finish last with only four wins. Um, well, I don't really like to see Arsenal being relegated because that's the team I, look, I support. So um, that's not very nice. But Juventus and Manchester City as well going down. Um, let's have a quick look around and see what else is going on. So we won the FA Cup. We won the AFL Cup. We won our American Challenge Cup. Uh, Manchester United took out the Champions League over uh, Bologna. Okay, interesting, interesting. Just obviously all the big teams have been taken out of it. So, um, well, from around the world, should we say. And the EuroLeague was won by Athletic Bilbao. All right, we'll do a quick world wrap up just to see how all the other teams that got transported out of the English uh, tiered system. So in Argentina, Millwall in 13th position, um, Bury in 26th and Shrewsbury in 29th. So they haven't really uh, done anything there in Argentina. In Australia, well, Notts County in 9th position, Melbourne City taking that one. In Austria, it's West Brom and Brighton. Brighton are up and about. So both the English sides there dominating Austria. Uh, in Belgium, what have we got? Peterborough in 8th, Bolton in 13th and Ah, oh, Cheltenham, 16th. In Brazil, it's Reading at the moment, leading the table. Uh, Bristol City in 5th. In Chile, it is AFC Wimbledon, uh, towards the bottom of the table. In Colombia, you've got Gillingham there in 11th. In Denmark, we have Port Vale in 11th. Uh, who's coming up from the championship? Wolfsburg, Benfica, and Villarreal. Okay, and it was Newcastle, Zenit, and Genk being uh, relegated. Milan there in the middle of the pack. League One, Valencia smashed it 103 with Aston Villa. And Malmo, Liga Warsaw, and Atletico Nacional uh, being relegated. League Two, Club Bruges. Okay, San Lorenzo, Guimaraes. And the worst team is Gremio. Okay. In France, Charlton Athletic in 7th. Crystal Palace in 8th. Burnley in 14th. Uh, did any of the teams... Hang on. Let's go down to League 2. What have we got? Plymouth Argyle in 17th. Bristol Rovers, bottom of the table. Go to Germany. Swansea City in 3rd. Okay. Um, Sheffield United, 17th. Birmingham, 16th. If we look at the Bundesliga 2, what have we got here? Mansfield Town in 17th. Northampton, 13th. Barnsley in 10th. In Italy, Norwich in 2nd. Okay, Brentford in 8th. Interesting. Hull City, 14th. Portsmouth in 20th. And the Calcio B. Bradford City in 3rd. Okay. Not bad for the English sides there. South End United in 13th. In Japan, Leighton Orient in 2nd. Luton in 3rd. Korea, Wickham in 9th. Mexico, Mexico. Oxford in 13th. Cambridge in 17th. In the Netherlands, Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest doing it in in the Dutch League. All right, MK Dons in 15th. In Norway, Fulham up by three. No worries. They've been pretty strong through Norway through this entire career mode. QPR take the Polish league. Okay, yep. Yeah. And what else have we got? Portugal, Sunderland by two points. Derby County in eighth. Colchester, 15th. Rochdale, 17th. Newport County in last. Republic of Ireland, it's Oldham Athletic, top of the table. And uh, Carlisle United are there. Hartley Pool, all mid table. Middlesbrough, one point over the top in the Russian league. Walsall, Morecambe, Accrington near the bottom. Saudi Arabia at Sheffield Wednesday dominating. Scotland, Wolves in second. Chesterfield in sixth. All right. Spain, okay, Spain, what have you got here? Any of the English teams survive here in Spain? Huddersfield in 16th. And in the twos, Rotherham in sixth, 
Crew in 9th, Scunthorpe 14th, Barnet 19th, Grimsby 21st. Sweden, Watford in 2nd. Switzerland, well, Crawley Town in 9th, Exeter in 7th. In Turkey, Ipswich in 6th. Stevenage, Swindon and Fleetwood, dear the bottom. And in the United States, what have we got? Blackburn in 9th. Blackpool in 15th, Yeovil in 19th. Right, so that's where we will finish this Chase the A series. Thank you for everyone that has participated and been a part of this series. Uh, you know, uh, three or four hundred of you have just sort of stuck with it. Uh, I felt it was a very decent career mode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll see this again in FIFA 18. I'm not too sure just yet. We'll have to see how much hype is around this one. Maybe we need to drop it a little bit earlier rather than so late, but obviously only came up with it this year. So uh, we'll see what happens moving forward. But um, thanks for tuning in for the Chase the A series. We'll see you in another video. I'm Spyro DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.